Hello and welcome to the video. In the last video, we had learned about read operation in the six transistor configuration of SRAM. So Q and Q bar are the internal nodes that store complementary logic values. We had performed transient analysis in the last video. So first we pre-charged both the bit lines BL and BLB to VDD and then turned on the access transistors using word line. So we observed that BL will discharge but the BL bar does not discharge it will remain at the high voltage. So in this video we will perform Monte Carlo simulation for SRAM. So Monte Carlo is used to analyze the impact of manufacturing process variations on our SRAM. So our SRAM 60 has 6 transistors. So there can be random variations which affect its performance and reliability. There can be threshold voltage variation, channel length or width variations, doping fluctuations etc. These variations can lead to read or write failures, data retention issues and increase in the power dissipation also. Also different read and write delays etc. These can be the problems. So there will be a statistical spread which we will plot like a histogram. This is the purpose of this video. So the Monte Carlo simulations help us to estimate how many SRAM cells will work correctly under these process variations. So this also determines the yield of the chip. Because when we design memory there can be thousands of SRAM cells. So we will do the Monte Carlo analysis for variations in the bit line voltage. So we have BL and BLB. So as we did in the transient analysis for the read operation, we saw that the bit line discharged. So we will now see the bit line voltage at exactly 7.05 nanosecond for 200 different SRAM cells and observe the variation or the statistical spread as we have discussed in form of histogram. So we will open ADE Excel. This is the setup. We will create a new view. So we will do the appropriate settings. Note that the state must be saved in ADE L before doing ADE Excel simulations. So we will choose Monte Carlo as the Monte Carlo sampling. We will do the various settings. So please like and share the video and subscribe the channel if you want more such videos on VLSI design using Cadence, Virtuoso and Xilinx Vivado. I also make videos on FPGA board programming as well. So first we must save this state in ADEL before doing ADE Excel simulations. So in the output section you can see we have a parameter named as value. Note the expression for this value parameter. So here VT denotes the transient voltage and 7.03 E minus 09 denotes exactly 7.03 nanoseconds. So once again I repeat that our aim is to see the variations in the bit line voltage at 7.03 nanoseconds because bit line bar does not discharge. In our transient analysis this value of bit line voltage is 27.918 millivolt as we can see. So we are adding the test and in this test we will load the state that we had saved. So remember we are saving the state in ADEL and loading that state in ADEXL. So now we will run the 
simulations. This is the state that we are loading from ADE L. This is state we saved in ADE L. So as you can see in the output setup our value parameter is also appearing and now we will run the simulations. So this will run for 200 random SRAM cells. We can increase the number also we can increase it to 1000, 2000. Uh, more the number more time it will take to do the simulations so we will do for 200 random SRAM cells and with random process variations that we had discussed earlier so we can do, do this for other parameters also like the bit cell current so comment to me in the comment box if you want me to make a video on that also also like the state also, uh, so also uh, share and subscribe the channel. I am also looking to make a video on copying of data from one SRAM cell to other SRAM cell. So SRAM cell is a very uh, important study for any VLSI engineer. Also, I will make a video on other configuration of SRAM cells using uh, 8 transistor, 9 transistor and etc. So comment if you want those videos also because your feedback is very very important and please like and share the video and subscribe the channel so uh, in and uh, i also want to make some videos on uh, logic in memory where we will do some logic operations using uh, combination of srm cells So now we will see the histogram as our uh, Monte Carlo simulations are finished. So we will plot the histogram. So let us see whether our histogram is a perfectly bell shaped curve or not. So we are plotting the histogram and as, as I saw as, as I said the histogram is a statical spread of the various values. So we can see our histogram is not a perfectly bell shaped curve lot of so on y axis we can see the number of samples we can see one or two samples on extreme right hand side also with voltage more than 100 millivolt and you can see 110 millivolt also there is one sample. So this those cells can certainly lead to a loss in the yield. So these variations are for the particular process. Like currently uh, this, uh, this was done for GPDK 90 nanometer. If we use the different process then variations can change. Also if the layout of transistors are changed then the variations can be changed. But no matter what the process we use, some variations will, all, will be inherent because no fabrication process is ideal and mismatches are always present. No two transistors that are fabricated can be exactly same. So because always there will be some variations, we only want to reduce these variations and predict the yield that we will get after using this process. So. Thank you for uh, uh, watching this video up to the end. I am uh, I will I am sure you will like this video because this is a very important project also for any VLSI student and SRAM is a very very important component to study for any VLSI engineer. Thank you. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel.